welcome back. We're now on episode two of this amazing collaboration with the Two Ordinary Guys. So you might notice I've got the same jumper on. That's because I've recorded this video, um, these vlogs, all in the same day and I haven't changed my top or anything so these are actually the same day vlogs I'm not just wearing the same jumper every single day <laughs> I promise you so just be mindful of that we decided to actually do the whole video we were going to put it all together into one but then we decided it was a really long video so we've split it into four episodes for you all and I'm really excited for it so let's just get started okay okay <laughs> so why do I want to join the ambulance service. Um, obviously, I, as you see on this channel, I've got a very, very, very good supportive network, um, and I'm very, very thankful for it. So, if you have a cup of tea, thank you. Raise your glass in pride. Uh, I'm very thankful for the family I have on this channel. I've always, I've always had a very supportive family growing up. Um, they've always pushed me to achieve my dreams. They've always said, you know, if you want to do this, this is how you can do it. And I'm very, very grateful to have my dad and my mum that I can really aspire to be like they've, they've driven me from a very young age into my mind that work ethic is not just from grades like if you want something you can get to it different ways you know, you know what I'm trying to say so but what I'm trying to say is when I was at school um, I used to have a lazy eye um, I had an operation on it now you, you, you I made a video on my operation um, but yeah, I had a lazy eye. I wasn't very academic strong. Um, so I become the class clown to sort of tackle this, you know. I wanted to be, I don't know, I wanted to be remembered in school. It sounds really stupid. Um, and we we're, we're in school and we was both, we was all saying our uh, aspirations for life. And I've never really, I never really made it apparent that I wanted to be a paramedic in school. I just kept it to myself. It was just sort of a, you know, a kind of, a dream it sounded really you know it was really hard to get into parent science and I, I didn't really think I'd do it but I just thought yeah that's what I want to do that it's an amazing job who wouldn't want to go into paramedic science um, so we're going around the classroom people saying they wanted to be a vet they wanted to be you know, doctors and I thought wow that's, you know, that's pretty good yeah that's pretty good and I respected their decisions that that's what they wanted to do you know why why can't they why can't they do that that they're, they're quite smart I mean I was, I was in triple science it's, it's very it's very hard to be in triple science you had like nine lessons of science a week and it's very academic strong and that wasn't the sort of person I am uh, and I was kind of, I, I felt, um, I, w I wouldn't say pushed out of the group but it was the teaching that really pushed me out and um, they sort of targeted me thinking, because uh, obviously uh, as I was at school I wanted to be the cl sort of class clown to be remembered like I said and I was kind of targeted by the teacher then it, it kind of ha it was kind of hard going through school um, not being smart and not being good at biology or chemistry or physics um, and I, the sort of person I am, I only, I'm only good at something if I put my mind to it and it's something I want to do. I can't really focus on something if it's not what I want to do or will benefit me in the future. And I didn't really think in that situation then um, I felt targeted by the teachers. So I'm not targeting any teachers at my school. Um, I kind of am, but you know. Um, so yeah, we went around and people were saying that their aspirations. And I said paramedic science, I want to go into paramedic science, I want to be a paramedic. Uh, and obviously because I wasn't very good at science uh, or maths or English or anything like that, everyone laughed. And my confidence was like, Nyeh. and then when they said that, it was like, boosh, you know, um, and I left school, you know, through, I, I, I would, I, to be honest, I would have classed it as bullying. They were laughing and joking at the fact I wanted to be a paramedic, um, people making jokes in my eye, and it was kind of demoralizing for anyone, if anyone wanted to be something and people were laughing at you, um, it, is, it is hard. And some of them watch my channel now. Um, some of them have been, have been really supportive in the past when I was at school. Um, it, you guys will know who you are watching this video. Uh, and obviously the people that were supportive in school, you'll also know the people that wasn't supportive in school. So you'll know where I'm coming from recording this video. Um, I left school and I joined college and I did help with social care. And we went on placements, and I worked. I went on placement to a care home, which is very local to where I live. And I was there for two weeks, and I really, really enjoyed it. On my first day, though, it was kind of it was kind of hard because the first day, I was next to a guy that had a stroke, and the very it was, it was kind of my very first interaction with 
you know, paramedics, they was called. Um, they did obviously the fast test and they were very fast to take him into hospital. Unfortunately, when he arrived at the hospital, he did actually pass away. But, you know, the, the job they do is amazing. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't fault for the care they did. It was very fast, it was very efficient. Um, and obviously rest in peace to that guy. Um, he was he was such a lovely lovely man. So it is sad, and that is the downside of working in care. You you bond with these the the, the residents in the in the home, and obviously with Claire would know going into nursing, you do bond such amazing things with your with your residents and your patients at the hospital or at the care home. So it's sad when they when they go. Um, so that was my first interaction with paramedics, and I thought wow. So I went home and I did a lot of research into you know paramedics there, you know their um, Everything they do, uh, the career aspirations of where can you go from being a paramedic. There's a lot of avenues that you can go down, which I'm going to mention later on in this video. Uh, so I did that. I went home and I researched very, very intensely into paramedic science, um, and then that I think that's what sort of boosted me off. That's what took me off into the direction of paramedic science because I wasn't really sure whether whether it was nursing or paramedic science I wanted to go into. I was very adamant that I wanted to give back to society. I was very adamant that I wanted to join the NHS but I didn't know what avenue I wanted to go down efficiently then but and now I'm living here I'm here at the moment in time and I'm 29 days away from starting my student paramedic dream um, and yeah in this video I wanted to collab with Claire because she mentioned that she didn't have a very good start and I've had a lot of people message me in the past saying like, well, did you, did you finish with good grades? And, I'm, and honestly, I'm saying no, I didn't finish with good grades. Um, and I don't want people to think that when they leave school, you know, they didn't do very well. The teachers would be very disappointed and they say, oh, you know, you know. And, I, and one of the teachers in school did say to me that I'm not going to get very far in life. Um, and hearing that from you know teachers that you're supposed to look up to and aspire from say that it does kind of knock you so if you are leaving school right now and you haven't really had the best grades because this, this is going to go up around results day as well if you've if you've just found out your grades and you found out that you didn't do that well sit down have a cry I did um, grab a cup of tea coffee or something like that and just think okay I didn't do that well but where can I go next? Where can I apply to that's gonna get me here? I started college at level two and I worked up and eventually I finished my level three extended diploma in health and social care and now I'm starting university. So don't let grades put you off guys. That's, that's one, one message I want you to take away from this video is don't let grades you know, take your dreams away. If you have the passion and determination that you can do something, you can do it. Um, so yeah. I told you this is going to be a sensitive subject. Um, but yeah, over to either Jacob or Claire on their reason. So the first question is why I wanted to become a paramedic. Mine's quite an interesting story. Um, you might ask someone who's a paramedic and they might say, oh, I've wanted to be a paramedic since I was five years old or wanted to be a paramedic since I was eight. I'm not like that. Um, I actually grew up wanting to be a police officer. I uh, wanted to go into the police force, but look at me. I can't, I, I can't imagine myself taking down someone. I'm like five foot six, I'm relatively skinny. <laughs> so I can't do that. Um, I went into health and social care and my tutor, uh, he kind of, he was a paramedic for quite a number of years and he also used to be a firefighter. And seeing how he expressed his stories and seeing how much he, you, really, you can really tell he loved his job. I wanted to do that. You don't, you don't have to be big and strong to be a paramedic. I guess you don't even have to be big, big and strong to be a police officer, actually. But I wanted to do that. I wanted to do what he did. And I did. <laughs> I joined House Social Care. Um, this is me and Carl went to public services together. So we joined House Social Care. Um, that, my tutor that day really kind of put that seed in my head to become a paramedic. Um, then over the next year, I had experiences like um, uh, something to do with my grandma, she slit her hand open and I had to deal with that and just reading up on it and seeing stories and you know you see these TV shows, I didn't really want I didn't really want to become paramedic from the TV shows, I know, I know it helped to see how they help people but I didn't want to just because of a TV show if you know what I mean, so yeah it was 
it's such a massive deal for me to be a paramedic. And yeah, I just literally can't wait. Um, I wanted to be a paramedic for a lot of reasons. Sorry, I'm just gonna close the curtain because I cannot see. Um, I wanted to be a paramedic uh, when I started pub um, when about midway through public services, and I just wanted to help people. That's why I want to become a paramedic. If it means that I've done all I can, and sadly that weren't enough, then I I will accept that, and at least I know I've done all I can. Uh, working at the care home actually kind of expressed how much I want to become paramedic it kind of like times it by 10 just because how much I love working in care and I know uh, a lot of paramedicine is elderly care um, because you get called out to a lot of elderly patients I've asked quite a few paramedics um, and seeing how elderly people are I just love them they're just nice they're nice to talk to they're nice to be with yeah, so that's why I wanted to become a paramedic. I wanted to become a paramedic because to help people. Um, and I wanted to help people with mental health as well. Um, as you guys might know, I'm quite passionate about mental health, about talking about mental health, and a lot of paramedicine is talking to people with mental health illnesses and helping people out when they're on, basically on their knees, when they're, when they're down, so much and for you to help them, for you to give them that first step into helping them is brilliant for me and I want to do that, I want to help people, <laughs> I want to save people when they're down, you know what I mean, I want to pick people up when they're down. I know a lot of student paramedics suffer from, from mental health illnesses so I also kind of want to do it to improve that. I know I might, like, I might see something that really affects me but the course I'm going into, the Worcestershire University that I'm going to, they're willing to help. They're they're setting up programs to help you out. So that's why, you know, check Worcester out. That's not me, you know, <laughs> putting it out there. But yeah, that's why I wanted to become paramedic to help out. And yeah, I was quite passionate about it. It's hard to kind of put into words how I feel about paramedic medicine. I I kind of have this always have this urge to help out people when I'm at the care home when someone has a fall and an emergency buzzer gets pushed I always want to run up there and see what's wrong I always want to run up there and see how I can help yeah I just want to be that person to help I want to be that person who runs into a situation where people are running away you know it's little things I guess so why did I choose nursing? mainly I chose nursing because I love it. It's the simple version. I've got 101 reasons why I chose nursing and it starts from when I was younger, when I was about seven years old and I saw family deteriorate from cancer. Unfortunately, they passed away and it was that sort of helpless feeling that I had at the time and I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't know. Then the first contact I had with the nurse was the district nurse coming in to see my granddad. And although I didn't understand fully what was going on and what was happening, I sort of had this massive respect and love for the district nurses that were coming in and helping my granddad. I remember that like it was yesterday, so it's really fresh still in my mind and they must have made a, quite a big impact on me, I think, for me to actually remember that. And then the next time was my nan when she had cancer when I was 15 years old and not being able to deal with that at the time and not being able to cope. and. I really wanted to help but I didn't know how to help and instead I avoided the situation so I think just building on those little things uh, I wanted the knowledge and the background to be able to help my own family but not only my own family because I couldn't help my own family back then I want to help others in the future sort of using a negative situation for the better if that makes sense i never thought that i could be a nurse i had no confidence i had no self-esteem i left school with really bad gcses and i didn't have that knowledge that i actually i could be a nurse that i could be some that i could make something of myself and i could be that person that i admired so much as a young child so i finally went into work in care homes in 2005 and that's where i really fell in love with nursing i loved the elderly i loved caring for the elderly we had district nurses again come into us and i'd always sit with them and always be really intrigued in what they were doing i loved all the wound care and all of that and i think that's now why 
I love community because I've always had that experience of community nurses mainly. I think that's why I've got that massive love for the community nursing side of it. I see nursing as a high profession and I, I just, I didn't think that was me until I was working with this person and she said that she was doing her nursing. She come to me this one day and she said, Claire, I've got to boil this egg. How do I boil an egg? And I was like, what? How do you not know how to boil an egg? No offense to anyone that can't boil an egg. But to me, because I've always cooked and I've always, I've always been quite an independent person. I thought, how, how doesn't you know how to boil an egg? And she's doing her nursing. I mean, if she can't boil an egg and she's doing her nursing, I think I can do this. I can try it. So that's the initial thing that made me think, do you know what? If she can do it, I can do it. Because she was a fantastic worker. She was great. She was a fantastic care assistant at that home. And she was really good, really knowledgeable. And I just thought, do you know what? That's an actual inspiration to me. So I can do this. So I found out what I had to do. I found out that I had to go and do my MVQs. I had to do the access course to get me into nursing. So I did all that. And finally, long story short, I'm here on the course. Over halfway through now, guys. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to qualify. So that's it everyone, episode two's come to an end now. We're gonna be having episode three on Friday. Don't miss it, it's gonna be six o'clock and it's gonna be a really, really good one. So this is a behind the scenes vlog and this is what I'm doing right now. Editing the video and I don't know if you can see that. And um. editing the video and I'm on WhatsApp to two ordinary guys so we can sort this out and that's what we do behind the scenes <laughs> we have to call each other edit the videos together to make sure it runs as smoothly as possible and that's it they can't hear me because I've put them on mute and they've got no idea I'm actually making this video so let's put them on speaker Kyle's singing is distracted because I'm doing my video. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill me for this.